everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be discussing really what you should be wearing. So if we actually go to our armor, which is, you know, tab obviously, you can see that we have 22.9 right now. Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be discussing what armor you should be wearing. This is going to be a complete guide whether it should be light, medium, or full heavy. There's going to be different times for different armors, and we're going to discuss, like I said, each and every one. So as we get started in today's video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on if you have not already, and let's get straight into it. So guys, we're back with today's video, and I want to talk about our armor. So I'm going to have a graphic come out and actually discuss, you know, which armor weights you're going to want to be at. Uh, specifically on each part of your clothing or each part of your armor. So you're going to see right now at the top, I have 22.9, by the way. The 22.9 is going to be giving me that 10% bonus damage and healing. Really also, crowd control debuffs you apply last 10% longer. So that's going to be very, very strong if you do have crowd control, if you're running something like a Great Axe Hammer. Uh, you know, if we continue on, though, you can also see that the light, the one that's grayed out that I am not currently using, is, well, you know what? I could actually make that happen. Let's just take off the uh, some of our clothing there we go 7.2 weight we have the light so while wearing light armor your dodge is a quick roll that covers a lot of distance you deal 20 percent bonus damage and healing we're going to talk about you know each one of these and then we're going to discuss like i said when you should be wearing each one and how to get to that specific top so right now if we go to the heavy you can see while wearing heavy armor your dodge is a slow sidestep your block stability is increased by 15 percent and crowd count crowd control sorry guys debuffs you apply last 20 percent longer so there's a lot of benefits to heavy as well, but the one thing I will say, guys, before we jump into specific weights and what you need on each gear to, you know, get the top of that weight class, that, you know, by the way, that's going to be very, very important to max out on your physical and elemental resistance that you see at the very bottom left here. Um, but like I said, the biggest thing is to make sure you are wearing the correct weight class when you're going out in the open world. So if you're level 1 through 20 and you're just PvE, if, if you're PvE throughout all of level 1 through 20 or 1 through 30, or if you're PvP flagged, either way, you can get up to about tier 3 faction equipment going just straight light because you're going to want to get around very, very quickly. Quick levels is going to be very, very important to you. However, if you are past level 30 or you're struggling or you're dying a little bit, make sure to go to the next tier up, which is medium. You are going to miss your dodge roll. However, you can see that you know with medium right now, it's actually quite a bit of movement. You can see how much movement I get with that. Definitely if you're going dexterity and you have 150 dex, you get a nether jump. So you don't just get three jumps, you get three jumps and you have 10 stamina left. So you don't have to wait on this recovery. But you can see, you know, you can see that it's it's pretty strong how much jumps you get. And like I said, I will be going dex bow or so like the rapier bow that we've talked about in the past. And I'm going to get an additional jump because of the 10 less stamina per dodge. So it's a very, very strong combo there. I do want to look a little bit farther into this, though. You know, like I said, light is going to be very, very important for leveling when you're level 1 through 20. But when you hit about tier 3 in the faction rep, uh, where you're starting to buy that, you know, tier 3 gear that's so, so strong, by the way, in the faction uh, rep, make sure to switch over to medium if you're struggling. I think either way, you should realistically switch over to medium. You're going to die to musket shots if you're in PvP uh, very, very quickly. And you can actually see here on the left. So 13 is going to be your weight class until you're overweight of the light side 23 is going to be the max you're going to have for the medium side and then the heavy you can just get obviously you want to stack as much heavy as possible if you're heavy because you already have uh lost the light and medium bonuses so it doesn't matter at that point just go all out with all heavy so we're going to start like i said with the light with light you're going to want 1.5 pounds um to be your head and that's going to be obviously the light armor so you're going to want light head medium chest light gloves, light pants, and light boots. That should put you at a total of 12.7 pounds. That's going to be the maximum light. You're going to want maximum light when you're going light because you're going to get more physical and elemental uh, kind of resistance there or armor, and that's going to help you out a lot staying alive. You also want to get max medium when you're going medium. So medium would be heavy head, heavy chest, medium gloves, light pants, and medium boots. That'll actually put you at the 22.9 really pounds that you see that I have right now. So it's going to be 0.1 under the really number that or mark that puts you to heavy that's going to be very very strong and like i said i suggest medium for almost all open world even content uh regarding you know pvp and duels or um pretty much anything i i do think medium is the best right now unless your build really needs mobility 
and you need that light roll, which, you know, sometimes builds do need that. If you're running like the Ice Gauntlet and uh, let's say you're running Ice Gauntlet Life Staff and you need mobility a little bit, um, you know, realistically, I would stay in medium to be honest with that build. But some people, I was I was trying to think of a build somebody who talked about. There was a build, there's a couple builds, you know, with the Ice Gauntlet specifically because you don't have much mobility. You can go light, but, you know, like I said, it's just not worth it. It's, it's medium armor is so, so strong. It's the thing right now. It's the meta. Um, and I think it's going to remain that way for a little while. Like I said, guys, we're not really covering heavy too much because you just throw on as much heavy as possible when you're going heavy. There's no really weaknesses to that because you're already over, you know, really over that medium threshold. You're in the heavy threshold. Just go all out with all heavy. Uh, but that's going to be really the guide today. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, you know, when to wear what armor, hopefully I covered it in today's video. If you're going in open world, like I said, PVP, I just think medium's the way to go. If you get hit by just a couple musket shots, you're going to die in light and it's not hard to hit the musket shots couple powder burns you're dead in light armor very very quickly so medium is the you know that sweet middle spot that sweet spot that i truly do believe is the way to go and i i've talked about this in a lot of my streams recently if you guys haven't tuned in definitely check out the twitch account down in the description of today's video follow me on twitch we are going to continue to pump out a lot of great content on youtube as well as streams on twitch so uh like I said, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will, like I said, continue to make videos and content on this YouTube channel as well. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys all in the next one. We'll respawn then. I don't go heavy. Oh, we got PvP there. conflict, boys. There's never a, a down point. We like of, uh, PvP. Moving. We're just always moving. Oh, that's a good double hit. That's a good double hit. Let's get in hot. We got the reset off the turkey. We're looking really good now. We're looking really good here. I don't know. It's not like insanely fast. Like the town boy. He does have great axe. I think he might get out of this. We're right by it. I think at least tone down a tiny bit, like the spawn rates, because it's constant. He wants it. Nice. I guess maybe it's a part. I don't know if they made that purpose or not, but constant. Thing. He did a nice play there. But we got the backstab and we got the kill. That's a quick kill, and that's why you play. 1100 of both XP guys that is a all F10 we're gonna put that one in the uh, and, next uh, probably video to show you guys how quickly you can kill do you see the damage and do we see that we'll respawn then I don't go have oh we got PvP there. conflict boys there's never a, a down point we like uh, PvP moving We're just always moving oh that's a good double hit that's a good double hit let's get in hot we got the reset off the turkey we're looking really good now we're looking really good here I don't know. It's not like insanely fast. Like the town boy. He does have great fun. axe. I think he might get out of this. We're it right by it. I think at least tone down a tiny bit, like the spawn rates, because it, it's constant. He wants it. Nice. I guess maybe it's a part. I, mean, I don't know if they made that purpose or not, but constant. Thing. He did a nice play there. But we got the backstab and we got the kill. That's a quick kill, and that's why you play. Woo! 1100 of both XP guys. That is a all F10. We're going to put that one in the uh, and, next uh, probably video to show you guys how quickly you can kill. Do you see the damage? And do we see the...